<laughs> hey, look, it's Business Day TV, so I think we can be a little bit disruptive. My name is Sam Onyemilukwe. I'm the Managing Director for Trace in Anglophone Africa. And um, welcome to Business Day TV. A little bit about my experience as a Trace MD is actually quite a, an interesting story, if I can say so myself. Um, first of all, I make sure to always, at the background of my mind, <clears throat> remind myself and people that I don't know much or don't, cannot say with any confidence about what's going to be cool, what's trendy, what the new, newest song is, who the next breakout artist is. <clears throat> In fact, anybody that tells me that they can pick an artist and say that he's going to be a you know, blow or be a celebrity, I, I immediately lose confidence in that person. Because um, it's not us as individuals that do that. It's, it's a collective consciousness. It's a collective, you know, uh, the, the audience that decides. You know, I tell individual artists that come to me <clears throat> that if they think that they know which song on their album is the best one or which one will be a hit, that they are also sl slightly delusional that what they should do is they should take those 10 songs and play them for as many people as possible and remember in their minds that when, whenever a creative person plays a video or a song or shows a painting or whatever, shows their work to somebody, 95% of the time, if not 99% of the time, the response is generally positive. It's like, oh, I like it. But that response is a very, very different response from a real hit. You know, people don't want to say to an artist or a writer, ah, this isn't really good, or I don't like this thing, or it's not, it's not it. So they generally will say, oh, it's nice. But if you play them a hit song, they will force you to download that song onto their phone then. Not like, oh, it's nice. So I always try and remember that in everything we do, that it's about the audience. So <clears throat> when we create TV shows, when we pick videos, um, it's about looking at the, re at the information, the research. It's not my own personal choice. So I would say we are on the path to bridging the gap <clears throat> between uh, France and Nigeria. So Trace, uh, we occupy a very unique role because it's a French company. Um, or at least our headquarters is in France, but Africa is in our DNA. Um, the two founders of the company, one was from Benin Republic, the other one, he doesn't work at Trace anymore. <clears throat> He's a well-known guy. Google him. His name is Claude Grudinsky or something like that. Put Claude Trace and you'll see him. Um, and the second founder is from the French Caribbean. So he's mixed like me. And so we, we Africa is in our DNA. You know, um, it, it's about the fresh, again, trendy, your cutting edge, the style that we have, the, the sense that we have in, on the continent, <clears throat> and bringing that to the world. So, but for France to Africa specifically, I think we've done a lot to bridge French Africa and English-speaking Africa. Um, definitely, you know, a lot of the big uh, English-speaking artists have become well-known in France, French Africa because of us, because um, uh, we're the one, one of the few channels that covers both, both regions. Um, now it's become trendy in French Africa to, to know Af Nigerian artists and Kenyan artists and so on. So they pick it up a little bit more. So we've made a lot of difference there. But we still have a lot of work to do for France to Africa. What I would say is that um, you know, I'm, I was very honored to do the Macron event at the Shrine. And to produce that event um, was quite an undertaking. Uh, in fact, Right now, I'm working on a tell-all book. No, I'm not. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I am writing a little tell-all article about the inside story of producing that event. Because it was, it was a high-pressure event. It was a high-profile event. Uh, of course, we had the French government, uh, the presidency from the Elysee. We had the uh, Lagos state government. We had the Kuti and the Shrine government. We had the sponsor government. We had <laughs> enough governments to deal with 
you know, in, in this process, there's a lot of stakeholders and a lot of, of uh, back and forth in, in producing that event. So if I have just one message for young people in, here in the shrine tonight, yes, politics is important. Yes, be involved. And there is no advice. <laughs> well, so, so it works a little bit differently like that than that. Um, the French president is the champion of the 2020 cultural year. Every year in France, they have a cultural year that usually celebrates a, sep a different country. It's usually done on a country basis. And um, so their announcement for the, French, for the African cultural year is an unprecedented one where they're looking to, to expose African cultural, uh, the African cultural creative industry and, and products to the French people and build more of a gap or a bridge between young French and young Africans. What do I think about the Nigerian music industry and where do I see it in five years? Well, I think the Nigerian music industry is it's just amazing. It's, it's magical. In the past five years, maybe 10 years, it has changed the outlook for the bulk of, Niger of African youth. Literally, 10 years ago, African youth felt there was nothing for them, nothing. But now there's a light that says, man, if you try, if you hustle, if you're lucky, etc., there could be something for you. And what I really want is for that same spirit to, to continue to grow, but for people to realize that you don't have to be the artist on the stage and make a million dollars. You can be behind the scenes. You can be a, a, a stylist. You can be a sound engineer. You can do, and make a respectable living. And that's what I want for African youth, is that we can have, we, they, I'm a little bit old, <laughs> but they can have a respectable life. You know, and um, and you know, make 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 good money, have a have a family, enjoy life, and groove, and have parties, and and all of that. You don't have to be a superstar celebrity. I know that's not the most popular thing to say. I should be saying it's all about babes and bling and all of that. But to me, that's really true and genuine, and I and that's my prayer. <laughs> of the most popular Afrobeats music genres, such as Afropop, Indigenous Rap, Lamba, Afro Soul, and Hip Hop, as well as the global hits. Trace Niger mirrors the movement that sits in the heart of all young Africans, from Nigeria, Ghana, and beyond. In addition to our core music video content, Trace Niger also features fresh, edgy, local content, including comedy clips, live events, exposés on social issues that make you think twice, all showcasing Afrobeats culture across Africa and to the world. Trace Niger. For African music and Nigerian music, I want us to continue to see a rise to greater heights. Um, the world is waiting for us but it might fall out of our grasp if we don't professionalize. It might fall out of our grasp if we don't professionalize because whenever I speak to somebody at, at a big record label or at a, you know, anywhere outside of the country, outside of the continent, they're like, ah, I was trying to get this artist for this. They ended up just not showing up. We all know WizKid didn't show for Coachella. David O barely made it for the Wired Fest. Come on, guys. Get our crap together. Stop. It does not. We all want to share money. We all want our families to come up. But if your brother or cousin is your manager and he's not doing the thing, get a professional manager. There are professional managers out there. Go to Temple Management. Go to look, call, call me. Find somebody. Ask questions. Don't just default to what you think is the way to do it. It's messed up a lot of people and it will continue doing it.